Welcome back guys to our next episode of CK's Let's Plays on Agrarian Skies. And as you can see there has been a little bit of work done here and I am really bad at this view. We'll get back to that. But we've done a little bit of work here. Um, we've integrated the, what are these, rubber saplings, spruce, oak is over here, and birch is in the middle on the back. I went ahead and integrated the melons into here. And I did get a way to prevent it from planting anything else in that particular spot. So let me, ow, crap. Go ahead and show you that. So over here, I actually just put my axe in there. You could put any item that it can't plant or it's not going to get. So I just put my axe in there, no big deal. If I left it open, I'm fairly certain it just grabs a random thing and plants it in there. Um, as you can see here, though, we are getting quite a gathering of saplings. And just as an emergency backup up here in our original strong box provided by Jaded Cat, I went ahead and put a stack of each. So nothing major. Oh, and we got these two miniature hearts off of just some random mobs. Nothing major. Now, there are a couple quests that we're going to go ahead and work on together. But I did rebuild this over here, and it is working fantastically. Um, I got this a sludge boiler running. It's got a little hardened cell there, and I've taken most of the dirt out of here already and just kind of merged it. So nothing too fancy there. But it has given us sand, gravel, netherrack, which we may need that in a second, soul sand, mycelium, bunch of clay, heat sand, tainted soil, which we may try to if I recall correctly let me go ahead and look it up in my other window that is oh. um, it can actually spawn mobs faster actually mature mobs finds another under lava lakes so probably is another act Sustained fire indefinitely. Nah. Huh. Okay. Let's check one other location. I just want to take a quick look at this for you guys. Sorry if my voice sounds kind of bleh. Just, I think I may have a cold that's coming on right now that I picked up for my son. So, we'll, we'll make it through. Um, I did make a few more of these drums which hold a ton of stuff and what I've been doing is every now and then I'll just come up here and I'll go ahead and free these guys and they usually make it in time if you lead them right come on I need to really make the steps more straightforward for them there you go right, this way this way zombie this way you're lost on us the spider you can come Come on. Come, come. Come on. Bam. Alright. So that just adds into our tank that we got going on there. Oh, it's almost sunset. Um, one of my biggest things I really want to focus on with you guys here in this kind of time frame is a lot of the stuff that we have set up seems really manual. So I'd like to get some automation really started rolling here with us today. Oh, and this chest piece I have here, this chain chest plate. I got off a mob and it has fire protection 2, unbreaking, and last stand. So if we go down, it'll use some of our XP to keep us alive. It's kind of weird and I haven't experienced it yet. Um, speaking of that, our lives are still the same. We only have our three deaths. Um, just started collecting the heads here because they were getting cluttered, so they're not in here anymore. I'm um, trying to get a little bit more organized, so I just moved some of our stuff into here. Let's see, that was some of our quest items from last round. And I think the last two are... Yeah. Those are empty. This is acting... Oh, Jesus, that's full already. I was using those tanks for sledge back and forth, but you just have to change it out so often. Now run. Get out of there. Get out of there. Oh, it got me this time. 
most of the time you can make it away. The scariest part is not the poison, because that won't kill you. But with how this, you know, the mod's hunger, if you go all the way down, it'll kill you. With whatever effect here, the hunger that they got, will not let you eat until that effect is gone. So most of the time, I'll recommend fully filling your food bar before you go anywhere near a sludge boiler. But that being that, that's fairly simple there. Um, I am getting kind of tired of how we got this set up. Like I said, I want to get some automation set up. And let's go ahead and expand this and get a theme going. Um, I was looking at some of the blocks, and this is some of the various little stone things. Uh, most of these are actually just use sugar and stone. Uh, sugar and gravel, sugar and cobble, smooth stone, bricks. Other bricks, but you can use these to make those. Slabs. Um, that is a paved stone. I can't remember how to make that one. Any stone brick in the middle with four slabs. So that one's not bad at all. And then those are the painted ones. I can't remember what they're called. They're just white. And this one uses bone meal. So, there. Color bricks. Real simple paintbrush, which is just a piece of string. Some bone meal and some cracked stone, or any stone. Huh. You can change it with the chunk. Interesting. Other red color versus the local chunk will change as well. Hmm. Do I have any other colors other than white? It's kind of our restriction right now. Oh, hold on. These are all those color bricks too. Okay, okay. I have no regular flowers. Okay, that is fine. Oh, I made a tool wrap. Um, it's actually really simple. I think it's a piece of iron and some slabs. Yeah, piece of iron, slabs, makes a tool rack, and it holds all of them in one space. A lot nicer. While we're at it. Okay, so that's that. Move the melons. Oh, and we spaced them away from the edge here because for some reason whenever a tree grew, it had a chance of popping off the stems. Now, I know this isn't the most efficient setup, but that harvests it fairly quickly, so it doesn't matter if you know this one and this one can grow and attach to the same one. Not a huge ordeal. Um, down here I did upgrade to Hardened, and I was actually looking something up. Um, if you do them individually using the Nuggets, uh, you end up using the same redstone, but few or less Invar overall to do the upgrades. So that's why I've been using the Nuggets, and I don't know if you've noticed, but in my bag of holding here, I have a ton of Invar. So I went ahead and made a lot of that. Inventory is getting kind of cluttered. I need to organize it by being kind of lazy right now. Um, I went ahead and played with the auto packager a little bit. And it actually works better than I thought it would. You just put two chests, one with the stuff you want to package, one for output. And it'll take it in. And this is what's left, what it can't package, because it needs nine redstone. Um, nine bone meal. There's a thing for bone meal. It doesn't do anything with certain quartz or blaze powder. And the raw plastic, you actually turned into plastic sheets. But this is what it made. Real, actually fairly simple and nice to use. Um, you got these bone meal bags, which you can turn back to bone meal. So you're not losing nothing by doing that. But if you go up here, it automatically applies bone meal in a 3x3 three three area. See, this is that sapling thing I was talking about. It just kind of breaks them. Stems, the saplings, not every time, but most of the time. So that's what I do. I just kind of you know, walk through this area every once in a while. <clears throat> I get kind of loaded on saplings. Go dump them with our dirt. And that's kind of it. 
That's also why down here. If I can put it back in the chest. Down here we have this going on. Can I hold more? We got that barrel just sitting there to collect the extra rubber saplings because that's what we have the most out here growing. And that's what I've been using over here. Oh, crap. Come on. Come on, poison. Wear off. How far are these grown? Seven. 86, we're getting there. Oh crap. There you go, over here. I'm an angry man. Come on. Bring it. There you go. Yes. You're gonna steal my wood, too, aren't you? You're gonna be forever stuck. Oh, where'd you go? Okay, you're gone. Okay, so no worries there. <clears throat> but yeah, this is really manual, and I get really kind of tired of all this. I didn't. Uh oh. That's some kind of weird. String. Thank you. Flesh. Thank you. And we're good. We better eat. Hmm. Okay, so with that in mind, let us go ahead and get some of our quests taken care of right quick. So, very first one is. Over here, you're a wizard, Steve. Uh, we already had the sacrificial orb from what I've done, but the Thalmanomicon, now I had to look up how that one was made. So, what we gotta do is we have to go over here, make two iron caps, and then put them on the end of a stick, and we get a wand. Very basic, nothing fancy wand. Um, over here, I already showed you guys how to make the books using the patterns we have to make a bookshelf we need six oh you're such a jerk auto harvester that one and that one. great thing about jungle wood is it only gives three so or not jungle the rubber wood okay so what we do now is we take this bookshelf take our little iron capped wand and we go a really cool effect. I like that. Does it do every time we throw it down? No. But now we have our Thalmanomicon. Which I have no idea even where to start. Oh god. It doesn't wait to be open. Hmm. No tapping. Ah, no, no, back out. No. Oh, there's so much to do here. Okay, so we will leave that for now. You can sit there. And it's sunset again. Okay, but that's that one. Um,. Uh, I want to get this set up with a um, <clears throat> Well of Suffering, so we are going to go ahead and go with the Rune of Sacrifice. Please don't just give me one. Ah, oh, you did just give me one. We do have a greater bag, which we will open after we sleep. Alright guys, cross your fingers for something good. Let's go and open. Oh, that was kind of crap. 
So let's move on. Ooh, shards. Okay, we'll have to figure out how to get the shards. Oh, blood altar. We can get that one. Divination. That one. All right. Okay, we're not making that yet. Altar upgrades. We made tier two, so we get this. Oh, ooh. Capacity. No, we want this location to be nice. But since they don't have that, we're going to go with more of the sacrifice. Oh my god, I did not think we... Magician's blood. How do you make that one? Tier 3. Okay, we'll move on to tier 3 later. <laughs> At the moment, we do have three greater bags, and I'm kind of scared that those won't open properly. Ooh! That's not bad. That saves a lot of resources. Paving stone of travel. Hmm. And blackout curtains. Cursed earth. That's the one. We want a cursed earth. Okay. So we're gonna use that in the mob farm. Oh <gasps> yes. yes. Yes, yes. Okay. This division sigil. You can use it to make unstable ingots or nuggets or whatever. But if you use this, you can make a tool called the healing axe this using three unstable ingots now this axe makes it where you never have to eat again okay this it might be a little different in this mod so we're going to read it anyways so when you attack a living creature it will take some of the health from you and use it to heal the target with a slight bonus if used on undead creatures you'll still be damaged but the target will be injured by four times that amount of damage in addition, while the axe is equipped, it slowly refills your hunger bar. Now, I believe you have to be holding it for that effect, but that is really awesome. Um, thing is, you have to activate this before it's usable. Shift right click. Oh, you have to do it on enchanting table. Nope. Okay, needs a redstone circle, so redstone around it, easy. Needs to see the moon, so it can't be inside. Must not be lit by outside sources, so it's no torches around it. And it must be midnight. So that's not too bad. I do know it needs to be on dirt as well. Oh, area lacks sufficient natural earth. Needs to be on dirt because it's going to turn that into cursed earth as well. But these blackout curtains. That. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, what's happened here? Oh, that's not that hard to make. Uh, curtains will allow you to keep pesky light out of certain areas without closing them off entirely. Blackout curtains will reduce light to approximately half its maximum and can be passed through easily. Huh. So here's a question. If up here... Uh, maybe not that one. We'll do the middle one instead. Go here. Let me go. Um, hit the wrong button and maximize, so I had to unmaximize and it messes with the recording, but it was... Ooh. Ah, F7. Oh, so yes, it's still plenty dark. I am curious, though, if mobs... Ooh, ooh. I... Stop. What was that? Nine, F9. There it goes. <clears throat> I'm still curious if mobs can pathfind through this. Let's go ahead and turn that back on one more time. Oh, yes. Oh, ha, ha, ha. This will be really nice. Huh. Oh, and they can technically spawn there, too. Okay. So we'll take a look at that. Interesting. Easy to break too. Okay, so that's that. Wow, we got a lot down the magic tree. I did not expect all that. But that's not bad. I can accept that. Alright, so let's go ahead and move in. 
Now we were going to look here because we can once again claim our zombie one just because of the little killing we do there. Which gives us another half heart. Oh, just turning that off. Which means we now have enough for... Oh god. Oh wow, we have a lot of hearts. Don't need that, don't need that. I want that. Hmm. Okay, we'll put that in there, that in there. Hmm. Bam! Yes. And this. Bam. 14. Yes. Alright. So let's back out here. Fungus Among Us. It wants us to detect a soul sand. Which. Thanks to our sludge boiler that is trying to kill me again. We do have one. Let's go over here and detect it. And we already have a wooden sword within chance, so we'll go with fish. Which means... Where did I put this? Ah! There. And our fish has fire aspect. Got another half heart. Nothing else fancy. Saving stone of travel. What, do you move fast on this or something? Ooh. Huh. Interesting. These may be fun. Okay. Alright, so let's move back in here. Spending the farms, need to make a tin upgrade. Uh, that wasn't too bad, I think. We have that set. Oh, I don't have that set up here. Hmm. What did I do with the tin upgrade? Ah, I picked up that crap again. Hmm. Well, we'll come back to that one. That's not hard. Uh, let's just see. We need an auto brewer, pastoral life, which this needs an alchemic set for the spawn squid. So we'll leave that. Let's see. Hell's Kitchen. Ah. Oh, and I don't know how I got the fresh water one on here at all because I know there's something special to make fresh water. Let's see. Fresh. Oh, bucket of water gives you four fresh water. But, I've never done that. So I don't know what's going on with that one, but okay. Let's see, bees and trees. Oh, steel power flight. Hmm. We'll do that one again next time, because I'm not sure what happened to it the first time we did that. Um, bees and trees, we're not doing now. Your wizard we've already went through for the hoarding. I got a couple of these lined out. These actually get really expensive really fast. So what you saw here is just one of... Oh, I'm, I'm hungry. <laughs> okay, so this is just one of the items. You gotta have another one of these basic processors which is made by nine plastic which makes silicon. Silicon, silicon, silicon. Whatever. And you take that and put it here with a quartz cutting quartz cutting knife, which is fairly simple to make with the certus quartz which you can just get from the dust. Huh, straight from sand. Meh. But right there. Sardis Quartz Dust turns into one Sardis Quartz. <clears throat> so not too bad. But that gives you this basic processor assembly. So you then go and sprint. sprint. And oops. throw into the furnace. And while that's making, we'll go ahead and make our other tank that I was making. And, whoop, and there. 
And it's raining. Yay. Oh no, this is supposed to be water, right? Yeah, that way I can just swap them out when they're ready. Oh my god, that runs forever. Urgh. Okay. But that being that, we bring it over here. Put it in the bottom. And we get the Emmy drive. All of that, just for that. And that's useless by itself. With the Emmy systems, you have to have the Emmy controller for power. The Emmy access terminal to get into the thing. The Emmy drive to hold a drive. And then a actual hard drive inside that to store the items which is right here and this is the cheapest one <laughs> so uh, two redstone six redstone nine redstone just for one drive it gets very expensive very quickly which is why I've already started building up my redstone st can I sleep it away? Please let me sleep away the rain. <clears throat> well, today, we'll see about the rain. But that's why I started building up my redstone stores by going in and taking cobble. Oh, why am I doing it that way? Do it that way. Ha. Ah. Right there, and just letting that run. And I've shown you guys that before. Just kind of cycles it until it's dust. And I'll take the dust and just dump it in. These two, which they're now empty. It gives me this. Fact. This is the one thing I really love about the dolly. Not only does it let you move barrels, but you can even move chests with it. And they maintain their inventory. <clears throat> so really sweet. And by the way, the auto packager, even though those four can make another item, it will not recognize those as being craftable. It does it from one individual stack. So, eh, it's got its limitations, but it's not terrible. Actually, fairly handy. I'm not going to complain about it at all. But I'll get these all ready for next round, then we'll just claim it together. Um, go with the flow. Emmy stuff once again. Arr. Bragging rights. These, most of these are just going to kind of come over time, it looks like. Yeah. Let's see. And we needed to check on... Oh, that's kind of it. Oh, we wanted to do learning to skyblock and... Learning to sky block and make the tin upgrade. Tin, oh. mm -hmm. Upgrade. Iron. Quartz, which is what I'm using. Ten. There it is. <clears throat> Three plastic, two redstone, gold nugget, and teeny ingots. Do I have three plastic already? I have two plastic. <laughs> Simple enough. And we need three ten. Which now, here's the part where some of you guys are going to get mad. Is because... I know I can get double that using it in a Tinker's Contract Smeltery or like a Crucible Furnace, something like that, but I'm not too terribly worried about it. And we'll take one gold. Rubber bar. Let's do smelt that again. <laughs> Come on. <clears throat> there it goes. And we'll turn you into nuts. I already had gold nuggets upstairs, didn't I? Oh, how much redstone was it? Two. Two. 
room. And you are ready. You are ready. And we have a... an upgrade. So, okay. Which one is which? That one. We got a creepy doll, which we can use to spawn a wood. No, Enderman. We can spawn an Enderman with it in witch water. <clears throat> another quarter heart, another half heart. We have a mysteries, mystery safari net. And what do we have? Corn. Yay, corn. Wow. All right. So, what I'm going to be doing between the next episode and where we're going to leave off today is I'm actually going to be doing a lot of remodeling, just moving stuff around, that kind of thing. But before I let you guys go, we are going to go ahead and test out what... Let's eat first. what is in here and I'm going to do it right next to here so if it's something terrible we can just sacrifice it sheep are you worth keeping around sheep can I spawn sheep with wool which I can get from spider string can I make Blue slime ball, letting a slime, ball of blue. Can I use blood? I can use blood. What is weird about this is for some reason it randomly gives me blood. Which means I should be able to do this. <clears throat> yes. We shall have a sheep. And hopefully he doesn't die. Two, three. We shall name our sheep. Actually, I think I may move them in the house too. Let's here, but there. I think I need three string. Quick, 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 quick. Oh, we need a name for him. The name. Well, in the meantime, that way he doesn't walk off the edge here. Let's go ahead and move him inside. And those of you guys who are watching, uh, comment a name for this guy. Would love to keep him around. We'll keep him forever. I am tempted to do this, but I don't think it works in this particular version of Minecraft. Because I want... Rainbow Sheep would be awesome. But like I said, I don't think it works in this version. But nonetheless, we have our little black sheep. He is different like us, alone in the skies. But let's get him a name. So let me get, let me know what you guys think. And guess what? I did have gold nuggets in there. Let me know what you guys think. Leave a like. Leave a comment. And we'll see you guys next time. Thank <laughs> you.